Hi, I'm Sam Sheridan from Sheridan Computers and continuing on with our videos on FreeBSD tips and tricks uh, I want to show you how to enable UTF-8 character encoding in FreeBSD um, UTF-8 is a Unicode character set and it's designed to replace ASCII um, Out of the box FreeBSD doesn't, FreeBSD doesn't have it enabled um, so you can get some problems with character encoding and um, characters not displaying properly on the screen if you like this video, please uh, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Also, if you hit the notifications icon, you'll get notifications of any new videos as they are released. So if we head over and take a look at our FreeBSD machine, I'll show you exactly what I mean. So if we go into Tmux, for example, and then we split the screen. So where we should have this horizontal line, um, we've got strange character encoding. And if we split it that way, the vertical lines are also not showing properly. So it's easy enough to fix in FreeBSD. So let's go ahead and do that if we exit out of here. We have two options to fix this. One is to uh, edit the login.com, which will um, have an effect system-wide, or you can also do it on a per-user basis. So I'm going to show you how to do both. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to find the correct UTF-8 um, character encoding for your region. So if we do locale minus a grep, and then we want dot, which we've got to escape with a backslash, and then utf-8 dollar. I'm gonna pipe that through more so it doesn't scroll off the screen. Um, which lists the character encodings. So we want this one because we're in the UK, so we're on en underscore gb dot utf hyphen eight. I'm gonna go ahead and copy that and quit out. So now um, the first way to do this is to edit the login.com file. Um, it's easy enough to edit the login.com. Basically do 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 as. If you're unsure what do as is, it's similar to sudo. I've um, done a video on this. So do as vi extra login conf and we need to add a couple of lines to the default basically uh, so you'll notice each line is terminated by a backslash other than the um, last line the last entry which is just a colon so we need to append a col uh, append a backslash to this and then we want to add um, car set equals utf hyphen eight, and then we want to set the language so lang equals, and we can paste in the uh, value from previously and end it with a colon. That's pretty much all you need to do to make it run system wide. If you edit the login.conf, um, then we're going to need to run cap do as cap. Make DB. And that's it. Uh, if you want to do it on a per user basis, then all you need to do is to edit your login.conf. And then here we can create a new file and do me car set equals utf-8 and then we want to set the language again so lang equals en in fact paste value that we add in and then for the last line on this one we want to do set environment equals lc underscore collate equals c terminated with a colon So once we've done that, the uh, character encoding should now be fixed. I'll just remove that file because I didn't need it. So now if we go into TMUX again, and we do that, we still have the Wrong character, so we're going to go ahead and need to give it a reboot.
Okay, we've rebooted, so we can check the uh, locale easy enough. So now you can see the uh, system locale is set correctly. So if we go into TMUX, and now we split the screen. The character encoding is showing correctly, and now we have a nice horizontal line. And if we split it the other way, we've got the vertical line. Go ahead and exit out of that. Um, so I say this was a really quick video showing you how to enable UTF-8 on FreeBSD because out of the box it doesn't come that way uh, and it can be a bit annoying when you see really strange character encodings when you're using putty and stuff. If you like this video please go ahead hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. We'll see you on the next video.